James Gleick, The Information, A History, A Theory, A Flood. Embark on a fascinating journey through the history and evolution of information with James Gleick's book, The Information, A History, A Theory, A Flood. The summary explores the complex nature of information, its role in communication, and how it has shaped human history and culture. Discover how methods of long-distance communication have advanced from talking drums in Africa to the revolutionary impact of the telegraph. Delve into the world of genetics, where information takes form in DNA, and learn about Richard Dawkins' theory on memes, intangible cultural elements that influence behavior and spread from individual to individual. The Power of Information in African Drums Information can be conveyed in various forms, including arrangements of objects, sounds, movements, or symbols. In Africa, drumming was a prevalent form of communication used to convey important information between communities. John F. Carrington, an English missionary, came to understand the talking drums of Africa and discovered they were used not only to signal danger but also to tell stories and jokes. The tonal nature of African languages allowed communities to mimic pitches with drums, making communication over great distances possible. The Power of Information Information is more than just facts, it can be conveyed through various arrangements of objects, sounds, and symbols. Early interest in information was primarily focused on communication and was achieved through different methods such as letters, dashes, and drum beats. John F. Carrington, an English missionary, discovered and explained the talking drums of Africa, where communities were able to mimic tonal languages with their drums to convey information over great distances. The ability to communicate through different modes of information, including tonal pitches, has been a powerful tool throughout history. A Brief History of English Dictionaries English dictionaries have come a long way since the first attempt by Robert Caudry in 1604. Although his table alphabetical was only a collection of 2,500 words, it marked the beginning of a journey towards capturing the entire English language. The founders of the Oxford English Dictionary thought that the task was finite, but soon realized the futility of their quest due to the ever-changing slang and scientific jargon that enters the language. Moreover, with words such as make having 98 distinct definitions, the complexity of defining words that we use most often cannot be ignored. Throughout the years, lexicographers have tried to catalog the language more rigorously, but the task proves to be impossible. With the emergence of new words every day, it's time to acknowledge that no matter how vast our dictionaries become, they will never be complete. Communication Evolution the invention of the electric telegraph revolutionized long-distance communication. It transmitted messages using interruptions in electric currents, allowing information to travel at unprecedented speeds. This meant people could connect with each other faster than ever, and gain new perspectives on sharing and understanding information. The telegraph sparked new ideas about how language could be converted into math formulas, as portrayed in George Boole's book, The Laws of Thought. The Selfish Genes Genes are the basic biological building blocks that determine which traits we inherit from our parents. Be it brown or blue eyes, everything about our physical traits is determined by these building blocks that exist within the iconic double helix structure of DNA. Molecular biologists examine the function and structure of proteins and nucleic acids that are essential to life, while evolutionary biologists look at the processes that produce life in all its variety. In The Selfish Gene, Richard Dawkins challenged the molecular view and claimed that genes don't use us to reproduce our traits, instead, we use them to reproduce themselves. His analysis explains why animals would risk their lives to preserve their offspring since organisms are hardwired to preserve their genes over themselves. The Power of Memes Richard Dawkins' theory on memes asserts that these non-genetic replicators can transmit themselves through language and culture within the human brain. Memes are defined as any non-genetic part of culture that is passed from one individual to another and can be seen as organisms that are propagated just as effectively as genes. However, the impact of memes can be far more dangerous, 
with examples such as racist myths and extremist beliefs highlighting their negative effects. Wikipedia's Ideological Divide In this new era of information permanence, modern-day tools like Wikipedia reveal much about how we understand information. Wikipedia's free-for-all system created two warring ideological factions of editors, inclusionists, and deletionists, who debate endlessly over what should be allowed on the site. While inclusionists believe everything should be stored on the site, deletionists actively try to delete culturally or historically insignificant information. Despite their differences, both factions play a crucial role in Wikipedia's evolution. This new age of sharing and information permanence also means that everything can be recorded and preserved, leaving us to wonder what it will mean for us. James Gleick's The Information, A History, A Theory, A Flood, offers a comprehensive, thought-provoking examination of information and its influence on our world. From early forms of communication, like talking drums and optical telegraphs, to the modern digital era of Google and Wikipedia, the book explores how humanity's understanding and use of information have shaped our culture and way of life. As we navigate the age of information permanence, the book challenges us to consider the implications of info-sharing on our understanding of knowledge and relevance, ultimately bridging the journey from communication drums to digital encyclopedias, 